melting metal at home. Oh yes. This is a furnace. It is capable of melting metal in your backyard. It is made with everyday items available on eBay for less than £50. With temperatures of up to 1200 degrees C, it is capable of melting aluminium, copper, silver and even gold. Right, let's build that furnace. Now, this isn't new. There's a few people on YouTube that have built furnaces like this before. But what I've tried to do, pull together some of the best bits. Also, if you've got one of these, a barbecue starter, I'll show you a neat trick to get you melting straight away. Okay, let's get some bits. So, I've got a steel bucket. This will be the outer wall of the furnace. Inside here will be a refractory lining. That will be made up of a plaster of Paris and sand mix. Now that will be good enough to withstand the heat of the furnace. But what we're going to do is reinforce it with some coarse wire wool. Now that furnace lining wants to be about an inch thick. It needs something to mould the inner wall of the furnace. I've got a plant pot here, stolen from my wife's tomatoes. About halfway up we'll have a hole, that's where the forced air supply will come in. This will go in at a bit of an angle, this will fasten on here and at the far end will be the forced air supply, whether that be a hair dryer or a hot hair gun. On the top we want to have a lid with a hole in the middle for the exhaust gases to come out. That lid will be made up of the sand plaster of Paris mix again with the reinforcement in and we will have two handles on the top just to make it easy to lift off. Right, that looks perfect. Let's build it for real. That's the lining done. Just be careful if you use a plant pot, take the holes up really well. I had a bit of a leak, I had to quickly get it out, wrap it in a plastic bag just to make it waterproof. Now it's for the air supply. So what I'm going to do, start with a pilot hole and then a 38mm hole cutter. That's the hole done. Now we want to do the lid. I want to build it up around here and line it. I want to do it this way so it makes a really good seal against the furnace lining. Remember, we need a hole for the gases to escape as well.
Perfect. All done. Now the lid could do with being a bit neater, but other than that, pretty pleased with it. Just a couple of things to note. If you're using a plant pot, make sure it's watertight. Or just use a bucket to mould the inner wall. Also, you have to work quite quickly with this sand and plaster mix. Even moving the camera around to film some bits, it started going off. Anyway, let's get it lit and melt some metal. Okay, we have the barbecue starter here and the furnace that we've just built here. To build these up, we want a bed of charcoal in the base. Then we need a crucible. It could be a purpose-built one, like this ceramic one, or it could be just something made out of steel, like this cup. Now steel is an excellent choice because these furnaces working on charcoal will get a maximum temperature about 1200 degrees C and this won't melt until 1500 degrees C. Now you can check if it's steel with a magnet. If it's magnetic it's most likely to be steel but some stainless steels aren't magnetic but as long as you know that it's stainless steel then you can use it. So we put the crucible in the middle and then we build up about halfway up it with some charcoal. For the barbecue starter, we have a hot air gun with a 90 degree attachment on it. And for the furnace we've just built, I have a hairdryer stolen from my wife. Right, let's take these outside and get them lit. While he's doing that, let me tell you about these furnaces. These furnaces can get up to around 1200 degrees C and with aluminium melting at 600 degrees C there is no need to go crazy with the heat. This will help in a few ways. It will mean the furnace lining will last a bit longer, internal defects in the casting called porosity will be reduced and it will also help improve the surface finish. In fairness for casting aluminium we don't want to go much higher than its melting point. The optimum temperature is around 700 to 750 degrees C. Great, that worked really well. Now the barbecue starter didn't need the air supply. If you want to get it going a bit quicker though, you could use it. Now the furnace, that does need the air supply. I was giving it a blast of about 10 or 20 seconds at a time and it worked really well. Right, let's see how these look. So, these need finishing and polishing, but the furnaces have worked really well. Now I've got two options for melting things, and I've got some pretty good ideas of things that I want to melt. Love to hear your ideas as well, so if you've got any, stick them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.